Yo, what up guys, welcome back to another video, and today's video is going to be about how to install mods onto Simpsons Hit and Run. So, before we start this video, you need three things. The most important one is the game, the Simpsons Hit and Run PC version of the game. The second is, you need to have an account on a website called Donut Team. You must have an account with this website or the mods won't work at all. And thirdly, you also have to have this mod launcher for the game. So let's get started. First, you want to make an account on Donut Team. I already have mine. Secondly, you want to find a mod. Alright, so let's begin. Let's find a mod now, shall we? Um, so let's go down into downloads and let's just see what kind of mods they have, really. Let's go do Donut Mod Project Donut. Let's just do that, for example. So what you want to do is... Once you have a mod you want to download, for example, this one, click download and make sure you download it. While that's downloading, you want to head over to this website, which will be in the description below. Click on download, because you must need this to launch the mod with the game. So what you want to do now is you want to download this launcher. Once that is completed, what you want to do now is you want to open up your download. You want to get out of the browser to go onto your desktop. Now what you want to do is you want to drag these two down into your desktop. And now you close your downloads. You want to select them individually and right click and extract to its name. You want to do the same thing for the launcher. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to delete the WinRAR ones. Let's launch the Lucas's Simpsons Hit and Run Mod Launcher first to make sure it works. So what you want to do is you want to click on the EXE or the application. Once the program is up and running, what you want to do now is you want to go down to account and you want to make sure you fill this out and authenticate. If you do not authenticate, this won't run at all. So make sure you have made an account with this website and then actually put your account details into this program or it won't work at all. Either way, now we know that this is working, let's launch just to make sure. Alright, so now we know that this works, so there's no point of actually playing this game. So. Now we know that Simpsons Hit and Run works, so so how do you install the mod, Cosmos? So what you want to do now is you want to close the launcher itself and you want to open up Donut Mod. You will see a folder that says Mods within the launcher's folders. So you want to click on that Mods folder and you want to drag the Donut Mod into here. And that's it. So how do you run this mod? So you go back onto your launcher, you run it. And you'll see that this has now popped up. And so what you do now is you click on the mod itself and then just launch. So there should be a tick. And then you load into a game where a mod has successfully been installed onto Simpsons Hit and Run. If you don't want the mod at all, you just come back to that little box, uncheck the box and that's it. That's essentially it. Alright, so as you see, this obviously doesn't really look like the traditional game itself, but there you go, that's how you install mods. Everything looks slightly different, I'm not sure what's different in this mod. You can buy the speed rocker, that's, that's different. You can get a donut sedan, you get the point. Each mod has practically different levels, different stuff in it. So essentially... That's how you install mods, it's fairly easy, I'll probably make an upcoming video on how to install mods on multiplayer, and that's about it. If you have any questions whether you are stuck or not, I will be sure to reply to you in the comment section below. So that's about it for this video. Everything's done, if you don't want the mod, just so you know, you come to the launcher itself, you untick the box, and you tick your next one. That's about it for this video. And I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this video was somewhat interesting, and it actually helped you out through the tutorial. That's about it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.